Today we are going to be taking out the SSD with Windows in this laptop and we are going to this laptop and we're going to be putting in an, a blank SSD and installing Linux and seeing how much faster it can get because Linux I mean Windows is making this laptop really slow so let's upgrade it to Linux and see how it goes we'll do that right after the intro. So first, before we do anything, we have to disassemble the laptop. If we just turn it over, always take the battery out. It's quite hard on this laptop to take off the battery. The battery is external because this is from 20... 15, there we go. Probably made some funny faces there. Now we just need a This actually came with um, four gigabytes of RAM, but um, I've upgraded it to eight. And here we have our Wi-Fi card in that. Don't really need to see that. But anyway, let's get to the drive. We just need to take out this. In case you're wondering, this is the HP ProBook 450G2. Okay, so now we can take the drive out. Now we also need to take out the drive from its caddy, so... So here's the Windows SSD, it's um, Samsung 128 gig. It's basically got one gig of space left because Windows bloatware. So let's pop in the new SSD. Um, so this is 128 gigs as well. It's a bit older than the SSD, but yeah, should be fine. In fact, it's the wrong way up. <laughs> yes, yeah, the wrong way up. I need to put it up the other way. Now, if I just install the screws. Yes, I know I'm bad at screws. Not bad at screws, but bad at installing screws. And some of you will be saying, why didn't you just double-sided tape? It, that's because here at Computer Crunch, we do things properly, unlike... Mm, should I name them? Yeah, Linus. <laughs>
Okay, so then now we've got all of the screws installed for the caddy. Now let's just slide the SSD in and actually install it in the computer. Okay, let's undo that screw. Grab that screw and then put it back in. Why am I so bad at screws? I'm going to skip this bit. Editor, cut this out. Okay, let's continue just putting this in. Hey, one screw in. Two screws in. Three screws in. And finally, four screws in. Hey, I got them in finally. Okay, let's put the cover on. And now I'll put the battery in. This video is not very good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now let's boost it up and You can bypass this. Um, oh yeah, right. I've got to plug in a USB of Manjaro. Okay, so let's plug in the USB and boot it up. It will still let us um, continue. Yes, I'm sure. No, I don't want to do this. Hey, it's working. So now let's just boot to our USB. Just boot with the open source drivers because this has no separate graphics graphics card. Just wait for it to boot. Hey, welcome to Manjaro Linux. Usually takes a while booting off of a USB. Here we go. Okay, now let's launch the installer and start installing it. Oh, mouse has gone a bit weird. Look at how fast the mouse is. We speak British English here in New Zealand. Mm. 
Now let's say our time zone to Auckland. Okay, let's do that. Um, don't bother with the password. Now let's choose LibreOffice next and let's install it. Okay, so it's now installing and um, I'll be back when it's finished. See you then. So here we are, we're at the Manjaro Linux desktop. So how does it feel? Well, the mouse is a bit funky for a start. Um, it's going very fast. But um, so far so good. Feels very, very snappy. If we open up the file manager, it just opens just like that. Which is pretty good. Windows, it takes like 30 seconds or something on this SSD. Um, why don't we open Firefox? What was that? Five seconds? Takes like 15 on Windows. Like, see how speedy it is? Um, it's way speedier than Windows. And then there's, why don't we open LibreOffice, which is a free like thing of Microsoft Office. Let's open LibreOffice Writer. Three seconds. It would take like a minute to open Word on Windows. So yeah, Linux speeds up slow machines. So yeah, if you want to, go and give it a try at any distribution of Linux, Manjaro, Ubuntu, Debian, um, Linux Mint, Linux Lite. But yeah, I'll be doing more things with this particular SSD um, soon, so get subscribed for that. But for now, I'm putting the Windows SSD back in it because I need Windows on this. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.